So typically, most commonly, we're dealing with raccoons when they're nesting on the property. So we're identifying you know, food source or shelter on your property, their access to a particular den site, and then what measures we need to take to raccoon-proof the structure. They're naturally born in the city, so they learn what features are, are common entry points or weak spots. Can be venting, can be intersections on roofs, can be drainage, many different features of, of uh, homes or businesses. There's intersections that have inherent weak spots that the animals know that those are a place to look and then they're able to open them up quite easily. So some without much damage, other times they can tear their way through a roof and create quite a bit of damage. Just looking underneath structures, sheds, decks, um, underneath uh, anything around the home. So there's certain features of the home where animals can climb underneath. Sometimes they're happy enough just living underneath that build out, for example, or sometimes they're looking to get in further. So they'll dig through vents to get into crawl space or attic. 